Hello Nashville, my name is Pierre. Welcome to the channel. 70 degrees, one windy. So you might hear like you might hear the wind. Wednesday evening, 806, November 17, 2021. Welcome to the channel. If you know. Please hit the like button and all that good stuff. It's been a while since I put that thing in there. Let me see if I see garlic on this phone. Uh, do I have it here? Oh no, I don't have my little subscribe button in here. Yeah, make sure you hit the subscribe button for me and all that good stuff. If you're new to Nashville, Tennessee, this is Nashville, Tennessee on this Wednesday evening. Welcome to Nashville, Tennessee. I'm about to show you around show you what happened here on a Wednesday night oh, I forgot my headphones Why is the church light on late at night? I don't know if I would have to guess. Probably for security reason. I'm guessing they got camera and if somebody break in or something, they can see. Yeah, but it is it is a little windy. Um It's 70 degrees, but it still feel kind of like on the 60s. Basically, if I come down here, I, I, I put a sweater on basically. That's what I'm saying. I don't have one right now, but because I get, I get hot fast, but. As you can see, some people do got some long sleeves on. Um, Right now I am on 7th and Broadway, making my way down toward Lower Broadway. Show you guys what they're doing tonight.
do have um, Christmas decoration over here, over there on Fifth and Broadway. On my way back, I'll check it out again. I, earlier, I came here earlier, I'll check it out. Uh, I kind of want to see what it looks like at night, so I'm going to make my way there on my way back. The street is very empty. Nothing going over here at the Bristol Arena. There it is, guys. Lower Broadway, Fifth and Broadway. Let's see what's happening. Done. How you doing? There was some Christmas decoration for you. 
That's good, man. I'm, gl I'm glad you're doing okay. I'm glad you're doing. I'm glad you're feeling well. about to have a uh, something about to be here cake milkshake well look like something opening soon cake social kitchen ah, interesting Right, I'm about to cross on the other side of Toad Avenue.
as you can see, it's a very calm, slow Wednesday evening. There'll be more people out tomorrow. So Monday and Tuesday, nothing much happened. Um, Wednesday is somewhat busy. And then, you know, of course, Thursday and the rest of the week. More people usually come out. No, no, not not many, man. Um, not 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 so many. At twenty four, yeah, if they are. If they're not out now, I don't know. But I'm on Second Avenue. Nothing much going on here. Let me do a quick walk through. How you doing? You usually don't catch me. Hello. What up? How you doing, Wild Bates? You doing okay? Yeah, not much going on here. Some nice stores. I'm doing pretty good, man. Uh, I've been really busy. I've been working like, you know, cause you know, mowing season is kind of over for me. So I don't cut grass no more. So I've been working regular jobs, which I do every year. So I've been working like 10 hours, 12 hours, you know. That's why I've been absent the past few days, but Yeah, this is a very quiet, peaceful, peaceful night. Uh, there's no poorly crowd. Man, talking about construction. Like though that during the daytime, for my friends who don't know, if you come around this area, you see people walking. I'm kind of excited when they're done. I kind of want to see what type, uh, what type of stores they're going to be having there. Oh wow, I'm sorry, I didn't know it was blurry. Snow plowing? No, I'm doing good, man. I'm doing like uh, Amazon delivery type stuff. Kind of like as a contractor, because I don't want, you know, and plus I still got UPS. So I'm, I'm still doing like 70 hours a week. Uh, I'm just working more hours, because like, you know, when you're cutting grass, you can't make money fast, you know, you can't cut a yard that's 50 water or 80 or 100 depending on how big it is so it's fast money and in, in, in a very short time like you can make 200 dollars in like four hours cutting grass but now if i want to make 200 dollars i gotta work like 10 hours you know like let's say like a 20 dollars so 
It's just a little different, but you know. But nothing much is going here. Like, I know you see a lot of leaves, but the city, earlier the city came and, you know, swept it up or, you know, the little machine. And the tree is all getting skinny and skinny here. Like you can, you can tell they're getting skinny and skinny here. Wow, I haven't, hello ladies. I haven't done Hoover in what, man? I haven't done Hoover in about six years. Yeah, that's good. That's what I'm, that's what I'm trying to be like. I'm, I'm trying to retire. If anything, I just vlog. I mean, I got forever to go, but uh, man, Uber, I, I ain't done Uber since, cause I used to do Uber and Lyft. I ain't did that since, uh, man, 2000, man, it was a long time ago. 17, I think. I started doing Amazon and said, like, you, you from my audience, you know, so you know, you know, all that stuff I be posting. I was making more money doing Amazon, like delivering packages, so I just stick to doing that. I don't know, maybe more people will come out. I think by nine o'clock, more people should be out. Hello, Shani. Thank you so much for watching. Nashville is good. Nashville is growing. Those two years you've been gone, a lot happened. Yeah, that and Dread Vid, yeah. Yeah, my other channel, man, is uh I'm I'm trying to get I'm really, as you can tell, I'm I'm really trying to be more active on it. Um so I'll be posting, I'm trying to post every day on it. But like, but yeah, man, look like more people's out now. I honestly don't even know. I don't have like a specific niche on my audition. I just be talking. I mostly talk about like, you know, jobs I do. Cause you know, I'm, I know that will like, you know, help people out who's looking for jobs and you know, stuff like that. Uh, I, do, I do do some dress video. Or oh, I, sometimes I just do some. Sometimes I just do some regular vlogging, man. I just stop about how I feel. <laughs> but yeah, there's some people out. This guy playing loud music. Yeah, there's some people out here. This is an okay crowd. You like my studio app, beat? What does that mean?
Yeah, what do you mean on uh, studio app bin? What do you mean by that, uh, Pandora? Oh, yeah, yeah, okay, okay. Oh, yeah, yeah, yes. Yes, I got you. Yeah, man, look like, look like people are coming out. But it's like a very cold breeze. Like a like a cool chill. Very windy.
So this is Fifth and Broadway. Look like they got Christmas decoration here. Living here in Nashville is expensive. It's very, it's very, it's very expensive. Uh, but at the same time, I think, I'm not sure. I know the minimum wage is probably like $7 or something, but a lot of jobs is starting out. You know, at the a, at a 15, 16, 17. Even Chick-fil-A, I know some Chick-fil-A. Chick-fil-A who, well, but then again, that's probably worldwide. I know some Chick-fil-A who's uh, starting at uh, $19 an hour. They got the Christmas tree up. Christmas decoration. Where are you again? What state? Wow, uh, like it's like decoration all throughout here. Yeah, it's like not they just at some of them they're starting at nineteen dollars working at Chick at Chick Fil A. I saw that online somewhere. Oh, uh, but it's really expensive living here. But there's I mean there's jobs here. I'll say if you have an income of, uh, I would say you need a monthly income of to live like decent, nothing like you know, to live to breathe, to live normal. Uh, well, first of all, I will not downtown Nashville. Nobody can afford nothing here. I look at all this bike. Wow. I would say if you can make, if you can do something and make 2500 a month, if you're single, so what is that? I'm, I'm saying you, you need to make what, at least 650 a week. If you can make 2500 a month, you'd be okay here if you're single. In most cases, you will need like two jobs. That's kind of like everywhere. I cannot think one place that's not expensive to live. I mean, or not take that back. That's in Nashville. But if you go to Clarksville, you might be you might be okay with, you know, on a two thousand a month budget. Commando, oh, good evening. Yeah, I take that back. Because if you like Bowling Green, my wife is from Bowling Green. Everything in Bowling Green is cheap. You know, you can get a three bedroom apartment in Bowling Green for 500. Where here, it will cost you about 1500 for the same thing. I don't know, man, look like some people is coming out. I will be out here tomorrow. This is Nashville in a Wednesday, Wednesday, uh, Wednesday night. This is what it looks like. People having a good time. There's always live music. There's always good food. There's always, you know, drinks, good drinks. For those who drink. It's good all around. Hey, fuck that hurricane, right? So funny story about I guess it was a couple months ago, there was a hurricane that came through New Orleans. How the bays, are they closed? No, they're still open. There's always some good chicken. You come to Nashville, you won't be disappointed. 
you won't be disappointed. I mean, you you be okay. Even Fifth and Broadway, there's some restaurants in there. Every one of them. Yeah, awesome. They have hot chicken. Right. I wonder how much those glasses are. You know, those are the those, those are the people who's doing good for themselves. Wow, that's a nice scooter. Oh, like, oh look at that. Bentley convertible, sexy. So, so as you can see, there's money here in Nashville, man. You don't have to go, you don't have to go to Miami to see exact exotic cars. <laughs> you can come down here and you'll see them. Or even better, go to Brentwood, where they wish people be. Which I need to take. I need to take. I, sh I, I do have videos in Brentwood. I think I got videos of Bellmead. But I gotta take you guys back to the wealthy, wealthy parts of Nashville. Do people wear the mask inside? That's a good question. Um, so people wear masks? No, not inside the balls. Which I'm kind of surprised because, like, on a concert. I'm really confused how they how they doing it now. When they have like a big event, like a concert, like especially at the Bristol Arena, you are required to wear a mask. Like the gay pride they did, you required to wear a mask. But like football games, you're not required to wear a mask. So I think it's how they pick and choose when to wear it. I think it's kind of real i get it this one don't go for like when there's a big congregation you know wear masks but like i said like in some events you know they enforce it but like the games they don't enforce it um no nah, they don't enforce it uh let me see in school they enforce it my kids they got word in school uh school buses to my understanding any government place you go in, you gotta wear a mask. It's really confusing and, you know. But that's, that's, what, that's really all I could tell you as far as the mask go. Now there was a time, of course, um, I do have it like, if you ever bored and wanna go to my Kelly leg, in my Nashville playlist. There's some videos, you know, where I come down here, everybody wearing masks. So they did have a mask mandate. Um, they did have a lockdown, of course. I came down here, it was really empty. I got some, I got some video, although I wasn't vlogging every day to begin, in the beginning, every now and then I used to come down here and vlog. So I got video like 4th of July, 2020 was so lame. <laughs> it was so because you know we didn't, we didn't have a 4th of july so i came down here all the business was closed there was police everywhere and it was just so it was <laughs> so i got that video you know i got a lockdown video i got video um where every, of course you know, everybody had to wear masks they had signs um like they really they really wasn't forcing people to uh to wear a mask because uh, Najvi was in the hot seat. Um, you know, Najvi was in the hot seat. What I mean by that, I will, I will, Fendora. What I mean by that is uh, everybody was like, uh, they posted a video. I'm sure there was a lot of videos. It wasn't me, don't blame me. I wasn't even vlogging like this, so it wasn't my fault. <laughs> uh, our Nashville was still partying, having a good time, not wearing masks during, you know, during the pandemic. So that put a lot of pressure on, I guess, 
you know, the governor of, you know, on Nashville to, uh, you know, to step it up with the mask because, you know, it, like we wasn't there hot shit. It was like, oh man, people in Nashville, they're still calling. They're on the pandemic, they're not wearing masks. You know, everything is crowded. So when that, when that went out, so they was forced to like really come strict, really be strict on masks. And even that, I'm about to come down here and some people will give their police hard time. I think they was giving people a citation if you don't, if you, if you didn't want to wear a mask. They was giving you some type of tickets. But uh, still, man, we watch some people, like they would give the police a hard time, if, you know, because they don't want to wear masks. You know, it, it was very different to watch, I mean. You know, so that's, that's what I got for that, man. All right, guys, I'll be, I'll be back here tomorrow, man. This is Nashville, Tennessee, man. Um, well, Broadway, to be more specific. Again, my name is Pierre. Welcome to the channel. Here's a little history fact for you. Nashville Centennial, 7, 1780 to 1880. Was that a paragraph? <laughs> On April 24th, 1880, Nashville began a month-long celebration of 100 years since the signing of the Cumberland Compact. Starting with a 100 gun salute at the Capitol. A procession of dignitaries, veterans, business and community groups paraded to the Centennial Exposition building here. Wait, is that what you're talking about? This building right here? Uh, what, what did I left up? The evening featured speeches, music, and a green display of fireworks. Cool. Vendors sold centennial medals bearing the likeness of the recently dedicated Capitol statue of President Andrew Jackson. So, I mean, you have a lot of this little historic thing around the city that kind of, you know, help you out a little bit. But yeah, man, I, I wouldn't really know I have nothing else for you, man. This is it, Nashville, Tennessee. Uh, you know, if you're not for me, I hope I help you out a little bit. Till next time, guys. Uh, look out for me tomorrow. Make sure, please hit the subscribe button that way you know when I'm down here. Um, with all that said, man, uh, be safe, you know. I hear that man yelling at somebody. <laughs> Beside that guy, man, we're very friendly here. <laughs> ah, man, I'm out of here, man. Let me, I don't know how that guy feel. I don't know how that guy feeling, man. Let me see. I don't know how he feeling, man, but let me get to my car and get out of here. Pandora, man. You have a good night, Pandora.